Greetings, lovely as hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Does This Thing Really Work? So the other day I went to Best Buy to buy a new external hard drive and as I was making my way to the cash register, I saw this. Talk about random impulse buy, right? They call this the pop-up hot dog toaster. Perfectly delicious hot dogs every time. And it is a toaster that can accommodate two hot dog buns along with two hot dogs. <laughs> So you're supposed to be able to cook the bun and the hot dog, I believe, at the same time, which I found interesting because I would imagine that the hot dog would require more time than the buns, but I don't know. So I got it so I could try it. And if you like these kinds of gadget reviews, I shall direct you to this link above where I test a few things, including the Roly, which makes a cylinder of egg that extrudes and pops out definitely worth watching. I've done some vintage gadget tests as well, so yeah, be sure to check those out. I suppose because of the subject matter, this could also go into the series of weenies. If you missed my last weenies episode, be sure to check that out. Amazing recipe for a corn dog that is covered with crinkle cut french fries. Amazing, totally delicious. <laughs> Tamper sticker, but it's in French too. It says sticker du sabotage. Dun dun dun. Okay, we have our little handy dandy guide. And there is our toaster. Bright, shiny red. Ooh, I thought that was metal. It looks like a metallic finish, but this is actually plastic. This unit has a heating element, and during the first use, it may appear to smoke for a short period of time. Great. This will stop and does not indicate a defect or hazard. Sure. Remove this label prior to use. Okay, we'll do that because it'll probably burn. So they want you to do okay. And that's what it looks like inside. At least the inner components seem to be all metal. Oh, I see. There's a little metal flashing here on the sides. So that's probably what keeps it from overcooking your buns or over toasting your buns. So yeah, there is just one heating element. There's just some shields here to kind of buffer the heat. There is a stop button and there are five settings and it also comes with a pair of tongs. These are pretty flimsy tongs, kind of hurt your hand. All right, so not too impressed with these tongs. Oh, so there is a crumb catcher, like a regular toaster. And I guess you can take this basket out too. That's nice, you can wash it. All right, so I've got my hot dogs. I'm just using some Nathan's All Beef Franks and my buns, place one hot dog into each chamber. Open them up and place them in there. All right, now that we have everything loaded, let's go ahead and cook it. Press that down. Ooh, it's starting to, it smells, doesn't smell good. Kind of like burnt plastic. It's a little worrisome. And I put it on high because I like my hot dogs pretty well cooked. We'll see how our buns fare. So everything has just popped up. It did do a little bit of a sizzle. Now I am pulling it all the way up. My entire kitchen smells like burnt plastic, which is kind of gross. So my bun is warm. It's toasted on the edges and it's kind of lightly toasted in the middle. This one's definitely more burnt, but it's warm. So there's my hot dog. So the buns are definitely scorched on the edges. The hot dog looks a little bit toasted there and not at all toasted on the other parts, although it does feel warm. I'm just gonna add a couple basics, a little bit of mustard and ketchup. I know some of you find ketchup sacrilegious, but I happen to love ketchup on my hot dogs. Time to see if this toaster hot dog is worthy. All right, here we go. Good luck, Mars. It's a good hot dog, but I bought decent hot dogs. It's nice and juicy, nice and meaty and flavorful. Then of course you've got your condiments, the sweet, tangy ketchup, and then your nice bright mustard. 
but in terms of cooking, I have to say that this hot dog is just barely warm. Although it's not cold, it's still nice and juicy. It's just warm. In terms of toasting the bun, the cooking was very uneven. The edges were very burnt, and the rest of the bun was more kind of dried rather than being toasted. I actually like my buns to be more squishy, kind of steamed and soft. I don't need them to be crispy at all. I just want them to be soft and warm. What I was hoping this toaster might do was create a nice kind of crispy crust on the outside of the hot dog. I really like that flavor that happens when the hot dog gets nice and toasty, especially on a grill top. It adds flavor and also gives it a bit of a textural snap that that didn't really happen. I have to admit that my expectations weren't too high on this machine. After all, it is a vertical toaster for both a hot dog and a bun. I was just curious to see how well it would cook both of them. And the results were kind of disappointing. So I would go ahead and skip this machine. I'm gonna continue boiling my hot dogs and steaming my buns. And although it takes a little bit more time, you get better results. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know in the comments if there are any other products you'd like me to test out or try. And yeah, follow me on social media, share this video with your friends, show this video a bit of love, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye.